Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. I'm so sorry. The power sh uh, is a challenge this way, but we thank God we've got light now. All right. Let's begin to give thanks to the Lord. Let's appreciate Him. Please, wherever you are today, this Friday, let's begin to appreciate Him. Just begin to thank Him for all the prayers we have prayed on this platform this week and every investment we have made by the grace of God into the land of our nations, praying and watering the ground. Let's begin to thank him. Even for being able to stand out here this morning, let's thank him for the opportunity you have, for the data, for the grace, the strength, the willingness, the, will, the determination. It is all behind of his grace. Let's thank him, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for this provision for us, Father God. Thank you, Lord, Father God, that you have been freed of Father God and the things you have you are worthy of all the praises. but we everyone Thank you, Father, for all the prayers. Thank you, Father. Thank 
Jesus. Servants of God, I want us to take hold of this scripture as we call upon the name of the Lord today. It is not hidden anymore that there is contention, that is contention, that is a fight on who rules the hearts of people. Every battle we go through, the battle between the kingdom of darkness and kingdom of, of light is centered on who will control the hearts of people. Number two, who will control the resources of the nations? These are major center of control of, of the battleground. Who will rule the hearts of people? Who will rule the people? And when I mean, I'm not talking about just who will be the president of the nation. Who will the people serve? Or who will rule over the resources? Who will, who will possess the resources of the nations, the wealth, the riches of the land? So we are praying that God will draw souls unto him. This altar exists to call upon heaven that there will be a mass exodus of people from the region and kingdoms of darkness into the kingdom of the son of the most high for salvation of people, for the repentance, for restoration, for revival. The enemy wants to destroy many lives, but thank God Jesus came to give life and to give life more abundantly. But you and I know that People, you confront them with the life Jesus brought. You confront them with the grace of God, but they are not interested because their heart has been seared with hot iron. They are no longer, you know, responsive to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Some of them don't even see the need to follow the way of God. They feel that their own way is better. Their own, the way of their own friend is better. Their culture is better. They are... And, and worshiping their ancestors is a better way to go because the enemy has blinded their eyes. The enemy has blinded their eyes. And we are not just talking about people who are out there in, in, a, in a remote nations of the world, even right in your house, even right in your family. We are praying that the blindness be taken off their eyes, that they might see the need to embrace the gospel they might see the need, your colleagues at work. We are praying that the people in the territories where sincerely and honestly, they are not really aware that Jesus Christ is Lord, that God will send the illuminating light of the gospel to such territories. Where people are not aware, they are not aware. Innocently, they believe that either Buddhism or Islam is the true way to worship and to reach God but they've not yet known that Jesus Christ is the one, the only way through whom people will reach out to God. So we're praying that God will cause them to be converted, but this season we are praying also that the resources of the nations, when God was planting diamonds and planting gold and planting oil and planting all the resources in the soil, the ones in the sea, the ones in the, in the firmament, he did not have it in his mind. It was not in any form or shape. He thought that his own children will be under the oppression of, the, of, of godless people in the distribution of the resources which belongs to him. And that is why we're praying, Lord, let there be divine intervention, divine intervention, that the righteous will have access to the divine, to the, to the deposits you have planted in the land of the living, to the wealth of the nations, to the blessings you have created for your own children, for their empowerment, so that they can have a good life on earth. So we are on this matter, and today, we're going to pray that God 
will increase our greatness. Everyone on this platform and their families and those who have been coming here, we're going to pray for them today, for the work of their hands, that God will increase their greatness and enlarge them massively and limitlessly on every side. Psalm 70 verse 21 says, make, verse 21, thank you, Lord Jesus. Sorry. He said, oh, that the Lord will increase my greatness and my peace and enlarge me on every side. We're going to pray that prayer for everyone on this platform today, that God will increase the greatness of our brothers, increase the greatness of our sisters, enlarge them on every side. Let the work of their hands prosper. Let them experience the peace of the Lord. Let our brothers who are in business, let our sisters who are in business, those who are employed, let God increase them on every side. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 14. He said, and I looked and we and, and rose up. And I looked and rose up and said unto the rebels, and said unto the nobles, Sarah, rather, and to the rulers and to the rest of the people. Be not afraid of them. Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible, and fight for your brethren, and fight for your brethren, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your houses. So we want to pray for our brethren. There are people in this platform who are occupying relevant position in the affairs of their community, relevant position in their industry, in their area, in the area of their career. There are people here who are looking for job. There are people here who are employers of labor. There are people here who are into business. There are people here who are still students, who are still studying. There are ministers, there are missionaries amongst us. We are going to pray for them. Whatever God has placed in their hands, God said, according to Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 9, which is one of the things we have been looking onto and using to call upon God. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse number 9. I read from here. He says, And the Lord thy God will make thy will make thee plenteous in every work of thy hands, in every work of thy hands. Some translation says, and the Lord thy God shall prosper the work of thy hands, shall prosper the work of thy hands. So we're going to pray that God will prosper the work of the hands of our brothers and sisters. We shall fight for our brothers. That's my focus this morning. We fight for our brothers, our brethren, for our sons, for our daughters, for our wives, for our own house. So today, what is your spouse doing? What is your son doing? What are your daughters doing? What is your, 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 your brother or your sister, what are they doing? Remember, our brothers and our sisters are not only those that can have the biological lineage, but even those who God has brought you together, either in your local church or in this platform. These are our brothers, these are our sisters. We're going to pray for them. There are some people who are teachers that God will prosper the work of their hands. I know a, a, a couple of teachers, lecturers in the university who have, who have suffered so much frustration. I remember a brother that used to be here in Cape Town he was so frustrated, he left this country and went to another country because people wouldn't let him take his position. He is qualified, overqualified, but they wouldn't let him take the right position that belongs to him because of tribalism, because of all kinds of prejudice. We're going to pray, Lord, intervene in the work of the hand of our brothers, intervene in the businesses of our brothers and our sisters. I said yesterday, there are business, you know, industries or areas in business 
where the agents of the devil have taken charge of that territory and they wouldn't want you to rise in that area unless you belong to their court, unless you belong to their, their, their kingdom of darkness. So we are going to call upon the name of the Lord to grant the redeemed wisdom, to grant the redeemed strength, to grant the redeemed the mindset, the courage, the strength to push and enter into the realm that God has ordained for them. It is not in God's agenda that the agents of the devil will be at the helm of our face in different industries. And then the children of God will just be at the, at the, at the periphery. The scripture is still true that you shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. We want to use these scriptures to pray for one another, beginning with yourself. The question is, what is the work of your hand? God's plan is to bless you from the work of your hand. Whatever your hand has found to do, whatever he has led you to do, he will prosper it that you will enter into the realm where you are not in lack. The realm where you are not in lack. So, if I remember somebody said to me some time ago that Christians all over the world, they are suffering. They are suffering because they are not ready to be realistic and do what they should do to survive in this generation. And that really hurt me. I want us to pray, Lord, let there be a change of story, beginning from myself and my household, a change of story. Let it be said that believers are prosperous. To follow Christ is not only to make heaven, but that you should also rule in the midst of your enemy. You should have rulership. You rule, you reign in the midst of your enemy. The scripture I cited in Psalm 71 verse 20, 71 verse 21, there's no way you talk about greatness, God increasing your greatness without finance being involved. Greatness in today's life cannot be separated from economic power. I don't know anybody that can be described to be great in any nation that does not have economic power. So Lord, increase us economically, financially, and remember the essence of this economic empowerment is not for us to show the unbelievers that we, have, we, have, we, are, we, are, we are richer than them. It's not for competition, no. It is to enable you to reach out to people across the globe. There are people that are waiting in pain, in suffering, in poverty, that preach from Genesis to Revelation. It wouldn't really make as much impact in their life as you going to help them out, going to provide shelter. I read of a man who provided shelter for up to 25,000 people, provided shelter free up to 25,000 people. Now, he could have used that money to, to, to buy aircraft and things like that, but he chose to lay it down sacrificially to wipe people's tears. A thousand years after that man has left this world, you can be sure those, benef those that benefited from his philanthropic uh, kindness or so will, 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 will never forget him. So if he was a bad man, they will follow his way. If I was a, god, a godly man, they will definitely follow his way. So this is what we are talking about, that it is possible for God to increase our greatness on every side and comfort us on every side. Increase our greatness and comfort us on every side, on every side. It is from the abundance of the comfort and the blessing and the help you have received from God that you'll be able to comfort others and help others. The man I said I built about 25,000 houses and gave it out to people. Such person, you can be sure he was not living in a butcher or in a, in, a, in a shack. He had to be blessed to be able to be a blessing. It is from the abundance of the comfort, the abundance of the blessing that we will be a blessing. God said to Abraham, I will bless you. I will bless you so much until you become the foundation of the blessing of other families of the earth. Some of us are in that part. 
you are part of that army, the Abrahamic army, the Abrahamic army that God is raising, not just for your family, not just for your church, not just for your community, but for you to touch lives across the globe so that they will know that Jesus loves and Jesus cares. Jesus loves and Jesus cares. That's where we are. Shall we begin to pray? Firstly, I want you to pray for yourself, the work of your hand. And please, if you don't have anything you are doing, ask God to open your eyes. Lord, show me what to do so that you will bless me through it. Show me what to do. Show me what to do. And like I said, also, some people may be doing the wrong thing. Some people are doing the wrong thing. Lord, if what I'm doing is not what you plan for me to do so that the blessing of heaven will flow into my hands, Lord, show me and bring me into what I should be doing. Show me, connect me to what I should be doing and give me the courage, the focus, the discipline and what it takes to do that which I ought to do in order to access the blessings of heaven. We pray for ourselves then begin to pray for your children, begin to pray for your spouse, begin to pray for your siblings. And when we are done with our families, biological, then we're going to begin to pray for ourselves on this platform today. He said, let us fight. Let us fight for our brethren, fight for our brethren, that our brethren shall be safe. We are safe as well. Wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet, you run to that place. Support one another, strengthen one another. It is not, it's not you are not to run alone in this season. We to stand for and stand by one another, strengthening, praying, encouraging, motivating, inspiring, and standing for one another. Because the, is, is the season we're into is a season where the devil is bombarding, attacking those who want to rise in any field. He will fight them to dis, disarm them. And this time around, we will stand together and push together and fight together until the victory becomes ours. Shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for yourself. Are you employed by a people? Begin to pray for your employers. Begin to pray for that industry. Begin to pray for that place you are working in the name of Jesus. Father, we come to you with thanksgiving. And this morning, in the name of Jesus, please let's unmute, let's unmute, 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 and with an understanding, Lord God, that it is in your heart, Holy Jesus, in Christ, the Father, our life. That Father God, it is in your plan to bless the work of our hands, Lord Jesus Christ, enter into the realm. There is no lack and we have no lack at all. We pray, Father God, for what you have given to us. We pray, Father God, for our employers. We pray, Father God, for the projects and the business that you have given to us. We pray, Heavenly Father God, that you will show forth and increase the Lord Jesus Christ, even the very areas where you have planted us. Lord God, for your glory, that Lord, will be such a light of your glory everywhere we have planted us. That the of men will be overcome, Lord Jesus Christ, Father, by your goodness. And that this goodness will bring light to the heart of men, Lord Jesus, for there is so much awareness of the amount of your work. It is all about. Lord God, God of heaven, I pray, Heavenly Father God, Holy Father, for my employers, not only for my education in South Africa, pray for my own. I appreciate your hand, oh Father. 
He said, I will contend with them that contend against you. I will contend with them that contend against you, and I will save your children. I want us to pray. Every contention, every conspiracy, conspiracy, bewitchment, sorcery, divination from the pit of hell that is targeting the work of your hand. In any way, the agents of the enemy are conspiring, kicking, blocking, hindering the rising of the work of your hands, the work of the hands of your children, the work of the hands of your spouse, ensuring that they end up doing the wrong thing, ensuring that they end up not rising. That's the bewitchment device of the enemy. I want us to pray, Lord, anything that is contending against the stability of the work of my hands, the multiplication, the rising, the increasing of the work of my hands, anything that is working to divert me or my family from what they should be doing, Lord, let your hand intervene and scatter that system of the enemy the device of the enemy, the arrangements of the enemy, let them be scattered and let it be that we shall experience open heaven in the area you have assigned us to work, in the area of our calling, our career, our appointment, our, our assignment. Let there be open heaven. Every blocked heaven, let it be lifted and let there be open heaven. Shall we begin to pray? Contending with them that contend against you is God's promise. Let therefore God intervene and contend with them, contend with them. Whoever has stood his ground or her ground, that you will not rise or your family will not rise. Let God arise and fight them and clear them of the way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this hour, let's unmute, let's unmute. Father, we decree this hour, every contention, every conspiracy. Every contention. 
bosha yendeli bosha rika tena kati ya bosha ndala ndere kesia tena ya bosha baba yo declare that father you contend with those that contend with us but Jesus I pray this morning in the name of Jesus the work of the enemy Jesus contend with the work of my hands and the work of the hands alerat Every frustration of the enemy, every onslaught of the enemy, not only to frustrate, but to give it cause. Lord, we digress. Lord, we are trying to from the origin of the mandate, the very thing. But the God, you already bless that Father God. You already bless the Father in the heaven. Lord, we are trying to an allotment and a portion. Lord, we are trying to give you the glory. Lord God, with the voice of your thunder, because you are God, in the name of Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth, heavenly Father, God, and you are God, and you are God, and every man and every ability to grant in our lives, oh God, the career, oh Shehova, God, in the profession, heavenly Father, God, in the academic life, in the study of Father, in the disciples, for which you crafted it, Jesus, and anything, anything at all, Beloved, I want us to pray. You know, recently I have heard a number of persons say to me that my child has just been appointed into a position that she is the first woman to occupy that seat. The other person says, my child is the first black person to occupy that seat. And we hear such stories. I want us to pray. Every prejudice, every you know judgment that have been put over your over over you and your people group. Maybe there are some position. It's like if you are a white person, you will not be given this position, and it's affecting you, affecting your children, affecting your spouse, affecting your family because you are white. And in that territory is, 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 is a no-go area for white people. The other area is a no-go area for Christians. It's a no-go area for black or for women or for men. I want us to pray that God will empower you, empower your family in a way that the people that sat down to write that policy and put all those laws, they will see in you or see in your family members what they cannot see in the other people. And they will have no option than to revoke their policy and appoint you or appoint your family. Now, we have been a little bit selfish here this morning because I see that families need breakthrough, not just breakthrough to own a house or buy a car or pay school fee or eat food. No, we are talking about families entering into generational and transgenerational blessings that will make them 
source of empowering other families and other nations. So what is our prayer? Every prejudice, every law, every policy that have been put in place to disarm us or to age you out, to age your family out, age Christians out, age believers out, age people of your group out or your because of your being a man or a woman, white or black from any nation. Some people, the moment they hear you're from Zimbabwe or you're from Nigeria or you're from South Africa, they shut the door. That God will release such grace, such greatness, such wisdom, such intelligence, such skill that will make no sense of their policy, that they will have no option than to come to you, to appoint you, to take that seat because they can't find any other man or any other woman or any other white or black that could do better than you. Great grace for excellence, for excellence. Excellence opens door for wealth. Shall we begin to pray? Let it be your portion. Let it be the portion of your family and the portion of the people of God. In the name of Jesus, shall we unmute and pray? In the name of Jesus, Father, we come to you this hour asking, oh God, that you distinguish each one of us. Distinguish me, Lord. Distinguish, Lord, in the name of Jesus. distinguish my children. <coughs> that we will be able to beat the expectation, yes, Lord, of the people who do not want to see the people of God rise. In the name of Jesus. Put in place to age out against every form of prejudice, every policy, I pray that this be the day away every vow of enemies. Men to rise from the Lord, Father, you cause men to fall. Father, God, that it may be now will be hope. Yeah. Yeah. Father, the motion comes not from the south, nor from the west, but yeah. from the east, so from the west, coming from the head of the living God. Thank you, Lord, for the testimony. For the arising of Jehovah God, which has cut off your oath, for the arising of our lives, the lives of our children. In the name of Jesus, Robe, Lord, God, we pray, Father God, that even our endeavor, you will set you some over God. Even our excellence, Father God, to receive the acclaim and Father. Back to the scripture I mentioned in the book of Nehemiah. 
I want us to look at the, 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 the participant list and just select three people and fight for them, fight for them. He says, be not ye afraid of them. Remember the Lord, remember the Lord, that the Lord is the one from whom increase comes. Remember that, don't forget it. Remember that no man receives anything unless it be given to him from above. Don't forget it. Remember that God is he that sits in the affairs of men. He sits in the heavens, in his throne, in the exalted place from where he rules, he rules in the affairs of men. When God lifts a man, there is no power on this earth that can bring that man down. When God opens a door, there is no man that can shut it. Remember that God, the God that opened the heavens and poured down manna from above for his children who were in need. Remember that God. Remember the ocean divider. Remember the God who has the power to make great or to make small. Remember that God who lift people from the poorly beggarly level and lift them into thrones of glory, thrones of glory, thrones of glory. Remember that God said, which is great and terrible. And because of this understanding, with this understanding, fight for your brethren, fight for your brethren. I want you to look at three people, three people. The Lord will lead in your heart between three to five people. Concentrate on them and pray for them. If you know what they do, pray for them. If you don't know, just let the Holy Spirit, please don't choose because I like the, this name or I know this one. Preferably people you don't even know, but if you know them also take up their name and begin to fight for them. Lord, let this word come through that you will prosper the work of our hands. You will prosper the work of the hands of my brother, my sister. Let it be evidenced in the life of this person, even in this year, 2021. Change the story of my brother. Change the story of my sister. In whatever career he or she is into, shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray. Pour out your heart to the Lord. Deal with the thing that are dealing with that brother. Deal with the force that have stood on his or her way until the ground is watered in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? Please omit yourself and begin to pray for people as the Spirit gives you utterance. In the name of Jesus, Father, I come Amen. before you. I pray, Heavenly Father God, to Father, 
Prayer works. Prayer works. Prayer is one of those mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. It doesn't make sense to the intellectuals, to the un unbelievers, to those who don't have faith in God. The Bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint. Always to pray and not to faint. So when you are praying and the enemy is asking you, yes, you finished prayer, what next? Tell the devil, watch out and see what is about to happen. Watch out and see what is about to happen. I want us to pray for, take a short time to pray for the different nations. Number one, we're going to pray for Africa, then Europe, one after the other. Two, two minutes, sorry. Just about two minutes, we hit it. And what is our prayer? Lord, the scripture says, it is God that give it you power, power to make wealth, power to make wealth. Lord, let Africans receive power to make wealth power to make wealth. That power comes in form of idea. It comes in form of inspiration. It comes in form of divine enablement, divine skill, inspiration, inspiration, divine idea, creativity. Let the anointing to make wealth capture African brothers and sisters, the redeemed of the Lord in Africa. Then from there, after about two minutes, we pray for the redeemed of the Lord in Asia, the redeemed of the Lord in every continent. Within short minutes, just prophesy it. Lord, we declare that you give divine open heaven, insight, insight, ideas, inspiration, creativity to our brothers and sisters that they will begin to see what to do to access the wealth God has already purchased through the blood of Jesus Christ for us, to know what to do to know what to do to step into it and to receive the intelligence to make the most of whatever area God brings us into. There are people who through selling of water have become millionaires. There are people who through selling of salt have become millionaires. Some people who through just 
selling of simple thing, God has made them multimillionaires because they discovered a secret in that industry, in that area of you know, service that others never discovered. Let God open the eyes of our African brothers and sisters. Shall we go ahead and pray? Just within to one and a half minutes, you drop into another continent. In the name of Jesus, Father, we decree this hour. Let's unmute, let's unmute, touch the different yes. continents yes. as you are yes. God is opening their eyes. Father, we have yes. 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 to bring before you Africa, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have to bring before you Holy Father. Asia, we bring before you the Holy God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are bringing the continent of Africa this morning, oh God. Father, you will open the eyes of the African people. Father, the eyes of our understanding. I pray heavenly Father God for the direction. I pray for illumination. Come on, my dear Father God, my dear Father God. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you
Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. All these condiments. Amen. Amen. I want to ask Dr. Lillian to prepare to bless the communion. Dr. Lillian, I hope you are in the house. All right. Why she prepares to do that, I want to round up this prayer. After that, she will bless the communion. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, please, can you stretch out your hands wherever you are? Just stretch out your hands. Lord, we stretch out our hands. Our hands represents our, our oppressions, our businesses, our career, the work of our hands. You are pledged, you have made a commitment to bless it. Father, I pray for every man, I pray for every woman. By the oil that you have placed upon this altar, Lord, I decree that the work of the hands of the men and the women that are on this platform, the men and the women that we are representing in every nation on the planet, as many that you have favored, you are blessed, you've told what to do, but the forces of darkness are militating against them. Father, we decree that there will be a fire out of your presence, fire out of your 
present to consume every adversary, every obstruction, every enemy, every satanic opposition to the work of the hands of your people, to the rising of the work of your hands of, the, of your people, to the greatness, the increase of the greatness, the increase of the greatness of your sons and your daughters. Whatever be a contention against it, let your fire consume it. Let your fire consume it in the mighty name of Jesus decree that every man, every woman that is connected to this ministration will experience divine intervention, divine help, divine help, divine enlargement, divine freedom, divine deliverance, divine help, divine help, divine enlargement, divine enlargement, divine expansion in the work of your hands, in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who do not want them to rise and get to the throne, the throne of glory that God has designed for each one here. Lord, I decree that you will intervene in that matter and execute your judgment. You are the God of justice. You are the God of justice. Lord, execute your justice over these men and women. Execute your justice. Execute your justice and let them that have sat on their throne be thrown away. Be thrown away. That your sons and daughters will take their place and be whom you have ordained them to be. Who you have appointed them to be in the name of Jesus. Your blessings make it rich and add no sorrow. Therefore, I decree that these doors you have opened, these positions you have brought your sons and daughters into, these businesses you have opened unto your sons and daughters, this career you have brought your sons and daughters into, let it begin to give proof become evidence, become evidence, evidence. Let each of these men and women become living evidence, living proof, living proof, living illustration that God can prosper a man, that God can prosper a woman beyond the level of education, beyond the limits of, 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 the, of, 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 their, of beyond their natural limitation, that God can exalt a man and favor a man, favor a woman, establish a whole family, that everyone in that family becomes so prosperous beyond explanation. This is our prayer. Thank you, Father, for answering us. Thank you for answering us. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We are grateful. Our hands are blessed. Our hands are blessed. Our lips are blessed. Whoever we, whatever we do shall prosper. Whatever you ordained us to do, whatever you ordained us to do, it must prosper. It must prosper. And if we are doing anything that is not right, anything that is not what you want us to be doing, Father, I declare that you con, con, you distract us from it and bring us into what we ought to be doing. Bring us out of any wrong activity and channel us into to the right thing we ought to be doing and as we do it let there be prosperity let there be blessing thank you for answering i cover this prayer with the blood of jesus i enforce it on the land in the sea in the moon in the sun in the star i enforce it upon every house upon every house upon every family we are the redeemed of the lord have found thank you in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen amen hallelujah congratulations sir can we ask Dr. Lillian to bless the communion quickly? Thank you. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Is she in the house? Thank you, Jesus. Let's see. Okay, she says she has a problem with her speaker. All right, take up your communion, please. Take up your communion quickly. Take up your communion. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up these communion elements into your hands. Let your grace, oh God, walk through these elements. Let your anointing walk through these elements. Empower us, our mind our soul, our spirit, our body, our gifts, our gifts, as we eat your flesh and drink your blood. Let there be the activation. Let there be the activation 
of the fullness of the wisdom, the fullness of the divine abilities of God that has been given to us to make us prosperous in this life. In the name of Jesus, let there be the activation, activation of the gift, the talent, the gift, the talent that has been bestowed upon us to enable us bear great fruit and be prosperous in this life. Lord, you said a man's gift make it a way for him. Lord, I bring it in before greatness as we partake Take of your body and drink your blood. Let it provoke your gift. Talents that are lying fallow. Give that are undiscovered. And they, <laughs> sorry, the ones that have been discovered that are underdeveloped. Let your gift, your talent, your investment in us be provoked, be awakened, be awakened to full maximum use, to full maximum use that we might enter into the fullness of the blessing for which we all those gifts for which you gave all those talents. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Whatever our hands are found to do by divine ordination, let it begin to flourish as we partake of this communion. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please partake of the communion. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Let's begin to bless those who have, who are fasting today, those who are fasting on Saturday, those who are fasting on Sunday. Let's begin to bless them. Let's begin to bless them. Father, we thank you. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, we proclaim your blessing upon your sons and daughters, Lord, as they wait for you. Father, upon your son, they are open to open up. Father, Father, that's my man with prayer. Father, what they Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, we are grateful. We are so thankful for being with us through the week. Thank you for the weekend. We take possession of this weekend. I decree that no evil shall befall any of these men and women and their families. No evil shall befall them. Let your glory be revealed in the life of everyone here. Thank you. Make us instruments of revival, instruments of salvation, instruments of deliverance, instrument of giving joy to the weary, instrument of giving hope to the hopeless, instrument of liberating people from the bondage of the enemy, instrument of deliverance and rescuing, rescuing those that have been captured by the enemy, instruments of your kingdom. Let the world know that you have chosen us as instruments to glorify your name in the land of the living. Thank you, Father, for divine covering all through this weekend. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Good a message shall follow us. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Amen.
Pastor Light, you still here?